welcome to The Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins, and one of our big space travel concerns, specifically how to make breathable air, may have been solved by Royal College of Art graduate Julian Melchiori, who's developed a synthetic biological leaf that absorbs a little bit of water and a lot of carbon dioxide and emits sweet, sweet oxygen. This breakthrough solves a couple of problems. First, that plants don't really grow in zero gravity, which would cause some issues for long-term space travel. Typically, in sci-fi, this has been solved by creating artificial gravity and growing trees and plants in a giant terrain like setting. Not necessary here, though it's kind of a shame because giant space forests seem awesome, but it is a real space saver. Nakiori explains, plants don't grow in zero gravity. NASA is researching different ways to produce oxygen for long-distance space journeys to let us live in space. This material could allow us to explore space much further than we can now. It could also point a way to reliably create oxygen in environments that don't currently have the kind of atmosphere in which plants can grow, like alien planets, maybe. You know, as long as they have enough water and carbon dioxide. Melchiori's project for the Royal College of Arts Innovation Design Engineering course uses chloroplasts extracted from actual plants suspended in a matrix of silk protein. Then with light and a little bit of water as a catalyst, they produce oxygen like any normal plant but with a more durable body. Think of them like the cyborgs of the plant world. Mind you, there are also plenty of practical uses for the plants here on Earth, particularly in light of all those amazing sustainable megastructures architects and SimCity have been proposing for the last few years, where real estate is at a premium. In the news that a 25,000 square foot indoor farm in Japan is 100 times more productive than traditional farms while using 40% less power, 99% less water, and causing 80% less food waste, well, maybe those concepts are all onto something. What other uses do you see for synthetic leaves? Let us know in the comments. You get the best in video games, entertainment, technology, and science right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.